That. Now, at the same time that was happening, President Biden addressing the nation from the Oval Office. WCNC Charlotte's Bree Jackson breaks down what he had to say about not pursuing a second term. Good morning, Ben. President Biden says he's setting aside personal ambition in the defense of democracy and says passing the torch to a new generation is the best way to unite the country. President Biden addressing the nation about his decision to drop out of the 2024 presidential race. I believe my record as president, my leadership in the world, my vision for America's future all merited a second term, but nothing nothing can come in the way of saving our democracy. The president highlighting his accomplishments over the past three and a half years and laying out his vision for his remaining time in office. I'm going to call for Supreme Court reform because this is critical to our democracy. The 81 year old Democrat says he's passing the torch to the next generation of party leaders. There's also a time and a place for new voices, fresh voices, yes, younger voices. And that time and place is now. The president is endorsing his 59-year-old vice president, Kamala Harris, to succeed him. When I am president of the United States, and when Congress passes a law to restore those freedoms, I will sign it into law. Former President Trump is focusing his attacks on the former prosecutor. This November, the American people are going to tell her, no thanks, Kamala, you've done a terrible job. Without directly mentioning the former president, President Biden says Americans must choose between moving the country forward or backward. The power is in your hands. The idea of America lies in your hands. President Biden making an appeal to voters in a defining moment in U.S. history. And during his speech, President Biden reflected on what he's accomplished during his more than 50 years of working in public service, adding it has been the privilege of his life. In Washington, Bree Jackson, WCNC Charlotte.